Well, basically she called me up one night and she said, so um, I've just been chatting with my friend Kirill, uh, who has a whole bunch of camera equipment and um, we are going to do a short film. There's a competition that we are going to enter. I'm going to be in Canberra next weekend, so let's, I'll, I'll write a script and let's do it. So can you please, please, pretty please be the, um, the lead for this short film? I wrote and directed Running. The film is about a, an introverted public servant by the name of Anna, um, who is quite kind of caught in the monotony of the everyday. Um, but uh, through the course of the film, she um, discovers the joys of running. Yeah. The main thing I wanted to explore was just the idea of a really socially detached kind of character. I think it's something uh, all of us can relate to. There was a mix of, of kind of fast-paced, claustrophobic shots, both indoors and outdoors, punctuating that with these kind of long, empty, uh, slightly kind of melancholic shots. So, I just wanted to tell the story of her breaking out of that. The, the shoes in particular are a really great metaphor for her whole frame of mind. So you start off she, with um, focus on the, the very plain black um, sandals and I think that really reflects her, her outlook on the world. We wanted to contrast them with the, sh the running shoes at the end, which are like bright blue and like fluoro, fluoro green. We had three days to shoot uh, and we, we came up with a timetable of where we would go, how we would do the shots. I write a lot and I've done a lot of creative writing, but I've never directed anything. Then to try and portray, like, verbally um, to other people what I have in my head, a picture in my head, that's, that's something new for me. It's probably the most complex bit of film work that I've done so far. Um, and putting it all together with the cutting and the audio mixing uh, and the color grading and, and the whole process of kind of shooting and having a script and, and watching Martina directing and, and thinking about the cinematography and the effect that that would have. There's so many factors coming together. Yeah, it made for a really satisfying experience, so I'm really psyched about the end result. Uh, I just had a look at it then, um, and I think it's, yeah, it's really, really good. It's uh, interesting to see how all of the different things that we, the, you know, the long kind of takes and the retakes of the, um, cool. uh, the shots that we did coming together to actually form, form something that makes sense. How to, how to capture the best signal, how to try and eliminate noise, um, sometimes getting kind of mystery noises in the background and working out what it is and you have to go and turn off the air conditioning. That was probably the most challenging part. This is our first uh, attempt at short filmmaking. Uh, one, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too tedious. It only goes for a few minutes, so you know, if you thought it was awful, then that's fine. Only five minutes of your life. Um, no, uh, yeah, look, just really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, we really, really enjoyed shooting it. Uh, we had a lot of fun, um, as you'll be able to see in the outtakes. Uh, yeah, a lot of laughs were had on set. Um, and yeah, thank you to Rode Microphones. There was a lot of, um, a lot of amusement. Of course, being you know um, equipment that was you know, useful in shooting a film, it was also it also uh, provided us with enjoyment. This is what we call a in the industry a high tech windshield. Yes. Many laughs for that. <laughs> to the judges and the lasers and all the viewers, um, hope you guys enjoy the film. And that's about it. Thanks. Bye. Can you explain the question? <laughs> what did you say?